In times when money is tight and the home needs to be brightened up a bit, new construction isn't always affordable. So we come in and foe things up. And I bring the art of Hollywood right into their homes on Just For The Foe Of It. This week we find ourselves in a suburban area located just north of Los Angeles at the home of the Egans. The Egan family has been involved in their community helping at the school their child Garrett attends as well as keeping kids on track. And I mean that literally. The Egan family are avid race fans and when it came time for them to choose a sport for their son, racing was without a doubt a sport for the whole family. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Kimberly. And we're the Egan family. The Egan shift into gear when it comes to seven-year-old Garrett. Watching them make sure his competitors are fit and running is what made them stand out above the crowd. We found out Garrett housed that ride of his in what's pretty much a storage room. So we stepped in, both things up. Things up. Cool. Hey, Smiley. Hey, what's up, you guys? Little G, Sean, Kimberly, how are you guys doing? How you doing? All right, man. I know I usually see you guys at the racetrack, but Garrett, I'm telling you something, bro. This race car, it shines. I see you out there on the racetrack, cruising around in your little hot rod here, taking the checkered flat. You shine out there. Then you come home here. And you see this behind me? I think it's time we make this place look like a real race shop. So, I'm gonna bring my crew in here, straight out of Hollywood, brother, and we're gonna fold this place up and make it look like a real race shop. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Give me some knuckles. All yeah. right, let's get started. Let's do this. <laughs> When it comes to the tricks of Hollywood and the paint department, I know my stuff. But to assure the job gets done right, I call in Hollywood's top scenic artist to help me out. Today, I'm gonna head into New Hall Paint Store and meet up with Brett Thomas. He'll probably tell me, you know, he's gonna be late or something. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is a little drier this time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, we, we've done it. We've been playing. Yeah. Um, so it's cool. I kind of like it dry like this. It's. I mean, it's ready to almost set off. There's a certain window of opportunity that you're done. You know, and then you yeah. gotta lay that back in, yeah. or take it thinner and clean it back off, and uh -huh. it's a pain in the butt. But. Um, phone call. Hang on real quick. Okay. Go ahead. And... Right. Hello. Hey, hey, bro. It's Smiley. What's up, brother? Ah, not much, buddy. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Hey, I'm just leaving the Egan's house. Um, we're still on for that job today, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, awesome, yeah. awesome. Okay, you're going to be able to meet me over at uh, uh, New Hall Paint Store? Yeah, I'll see you at the store. Um, I'm going to be a little late, okay? Um, all right, that's cool, dude. No problem, man. Don't stress. Be safe out there, okay? And I'll see you in just a okay. few. You too. All right, thanks, brother. Okay, see you soon. Bye. I've been a set painter for 23 years. My first show was uh, on a Steven Seagal picture, um, Out for Justice. I don't remember his wife's name, but it was pretty crazy because she was there, and um, it was a special moment. You know, they pulled pranks on me. I was just a kid. I was so young. I was sitting on the corner with literally a roller pole and a toolbox with nothing in it. <laughs> I might have had a brush, but and I'm waiting there for four hours for a truck to pick me up. 
and uh, I keep looking over there and uh, wondering why everyone's staring at me. Yeah, I'm waiting for a truck that ne was never on its way. You know, it was pretty cool. I look back now and I do that to everyone else now. Oh, oh I love this place. It's like my second home. Hey, hey! Smiley Productions, what's happening? How you been, buddy? Hey, just work, work. Work, work, huh? So, so. Yeah, what's the good word on the street? Hey, you know, I don't know. Good. Trouble around town, or? You know, drama all the time down oh, here in beautiful oh, downtown Newhall. Right, right. Almost got shopped the other night, the skateboarders, you know, they turned in this empty parking lot into a, a skate park. Right, Cops right. showed up here, uh, almost shot me, but other than that, you know, everything's fine. Oh, hey, hey, Brett? Really? Traffic? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> sucker, man! Tony, I bet you were in on that. I, I didn't even see him. Oh my gosh, my heart's like up in my throat right now. Dude, pleasure to see you, man. Dude, yo, yo, it's great, man. You got my heart pumping. Hey, right, what's that back there? Oh, uh, oh, that was from drama the other night. Uh, I picked up, uh, picked, I went over there to look at, you know, the, the park, and here, here's what I found. This, this Dude, park. that's my nephew's board. It is? Dude! Well, your nephew almost got me shot the other no day. No way! Yeah, someone called and said, you know, the store's being robbed. And, <laughs> and next thing you know, there's six cops beating on my back door. And, and, the, and you got his board, because yeah, he I, took off running, left his board. This, this is I, his mom was telling me something about his board. Like no way. I'd like to meet Cody's him. Cody's going down. I'm not Cody going, going down. No one but him. <laughs> nice board. <laughs> All right. I like it. Oh, wow. Well, I have no clue. Me, but yeah, this is going to stay here. This is Hey, you know what? I'll I'm have him and his mother face. stop by and see you. Oh, yeah, Brett, to meet his mom. you can tell that's done with those woods raining rockers, yeah, right, brother? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's a fold up board. You don't have fold up boards. I told him. He's going to get it. Yep. He's going to get it. That board almost cost me my life. I bet. I yeah. bet. I'm thrilled to be doing this job. Um, so, yeah, tell me. What I got going on is that um, Egan job. Uh, the Merrick Blue. Okay. Yeah, that special blue paint. Right. Um, we're gonna go in there and fold it up. Um, what all do you need for the diamond plate too? Yeah, um, some, like uh, some silver? Yeah, some bright silver. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have everything for the stencil, but... Um, okay, because I kind of threw a list down over to you guys. Um, I know T3 wasn't able to show up today. Um, but he should have something probably already set up. A um, few cans of the spray paint. Well, let's, uh, let's try to see if T3's got anything together over here on the order bench. Tom, let's see if you got it set up, man. Yeah, like I said, his ADHD said. Um, Ten orders here, let's see. Okay, look, I got I blue. never put the name. The Here's blue. blue. Here's blue. You got this. There, so that yeah, see? Look, hey, I got the spray. Okay, okay, that's cool. For the uh, diamond plate, right? Good. Yeah. Okay, so we got yeah, the drink more coffee. Uh, mask, I'm thinking these are for us. Okay. Uh, masks are important, guys. Um, another one for us. Um, real yeah, mask, Because We're going to have the kid, like a respirator. A respirator you got money in the budget? Hey, I'm gonna get paid on this one. Of course, you know. Look, how okay. much? How much these well, things going? What size? Medium, large. Well, more the small because I'm gonna throw small on, you throw it on the kid. Yeah. Yep. Um, baby, Hello? baby yeah. style. Hey, yeah. mom, what's yeah. going on? Yep, that'll work. Yeah, um, Tony, I'm here with Tony right now down at the paint store. He's uh, questioning. She giving uh, me POs? Yeah. Have we you sent the PO on mom. him? Okay, it's emailed. Yeah, she emailed one over. Okay, we're gonna throw a mask, a respirator on there, because um, we are gonna have Garrett on set, and I would really like to have him um, as safe as possible. Okay, bye. Uh, um, Tony, um, yeah, I have my mom email it over to you. All right. Okay, buddy? Awesome. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna grab this other stuff. Uh, yeah, you make sure we grab those masks and stuff, too, bud. All right. Let me give you guys a hand. All right, thank you, buddy. All right, let's go there. Both things up. Run, 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 let's go. Handle it, handle it. Riba, riba, pushola, pushola. Don't forget the, the cops are hanging out down the street on the CHP, on the, on the sheriff bike, I think, and, and behind the bushes, you know, like, uh -huh. like uh, what do you call it, Dukes of Hazard? No, so, right, I know how they, they that's one thing that ain't full. So, so that's one down. thing that ain't full is that ticket. Are, like, way too hey, on fire. Hey, you have a good day, Tony. Thank you, man. No, Thanks, buddy. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks, man. Have a good day. All right, pull it up. location's been here since 1957. 
Oh, we've known Smiley for uh, probably 15 years. I think I think it was about 1:30 a.m. at uh, midnight on a on a Sunday. I think it was a non-union shoot, and they were in desperate need of some hairspray or something, a weird chemical I sell around here. And and luckily I had the color he needed, and and so I made a midnight delivery down there to beautiful downtown San Pedro. You know, it's funny. You make a delivery to to a stranger in the film industry, and you know they they some you know they appreciate that, and they remember you, and they you know then you're their new vendor. Smiley, good luck with your uh, your your new venture, your new cause for uh, for people. Yeah, it's a great thing you're doing, helping others, uh, enlightening, uh, broadening their horizons. That's a great thing. I guess I should have had breakfast this morning. Did I not tell you I got a good crew? Hey, right. it's, uh, Devin, what's up, buddy? Good, how you hey, doing? Hey, glad to have you on, on, on the set, man. That's awesome. Glad to have you here. What's up, brother? Dennis? How are you doing? How you doing, bud? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, let's get this stuff done, man. As we kind of discussed the other day, um, how we're going to paint this out, I showed up. The Edens were totally surprised. But I talked to Garrett. Mm -hmm. I talked to Mom and Dad. They are very thankful. Awesome. They welcomed us with open arms. As like I told you, dude, that that's their characteristic of person, man. They their persona at the racetrack, yeah. dude, it's awesome. They stand out above all others. Yeah. Okay, so that's why we're here doing this for them, obviously. So how long has uh, Garrett been racing for? Three years. He started when he was five. Uh, I I said when he was born that my son was gonna race. They started two weeks after his uh, fifth birthday. Wow. Do you enjoy it, Garrett? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> What's your favorite part about racing? Being encouraged. <laughs> Do you as parents get scared watching him? No. Yes. This, <laughs> this is the safest sport that we do. Um, you know, we grew up going out to the desert. The, the fire department, nothing's really close, so if you get hurt out there, you're a couple hours away. We're here, all the track people are just feet away from you. How many championships have you won? Three. Zero. Zero. Zero, Zero championships. <laughs> Zero championships. But he's won probably seven, eight races. So I hear that uh, Garrett's been in the newspaper. Is this true? Yes. He was How, just recently uh, in the newspaper. How did that come about? What? Um, the track had him there, and Garrett just happened to win that day when they were there. So it was really awesome. So he has a picture of him, and it's great. We got interviewed. Yeah. The newspaper interviewed you? Uh, newspaper and uh, some TV show really? was there as well. Yeah. And they interviewed him. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a famous off-road driver. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Smiley. I really appreciate that. That looks cool. Dude, right on. It's going to work out great, man. You know, it's really going to look cool. I heard something about this week at a school. You're like star student. You know what's funny? Is you're a star everywhere you go. What is it about racing that you really enjoy? Winning and just being encouraged. I see you have a lot of your family around. Um, your grandpa and grandma come to the races all the time? Yes. Yeah? How about your uncle? Yes. Yeah? Does Uncle Uncle Doug inspire you a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Have you found um, mathematics and stuff you've learned at school mm -hmm. involved in racing? Um, there's a lot of numbers and like what, like your tire pressures mm -hmm. and gauges and stuff. So school helps you. Mm -hmm. Hey dude, you're so cool, stay in school. Alright? Okay, I'm gonna get to work because if these guys are the only ones doing the work, they're really gonna kill me, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright buddy. Tony, thanks. You rock, but I thought we were going to see Tomcat today. No, you get a skeeter cousin. Oh, man, that's cool. I appreciate it. Thanks. But hey, I have a question. Hey. You got me 20 for gas? 20 for gas. You know what? You come help the guys, because I know money's tight right now. You're going to college and stuff. I'll quadruple that if you get to work. Go on payroll. What do you think? Work me a deal? Okay. All right. Hey. Oh, man, these signs are heavy. Woo! All right, thanks. Hey, guys, Tomcat stuff right, here. Man.
is it makes the lay in silver not quite so bright. I want to get a little bit closer in value to my diamond. My ultimate goal is to make my positive and negative highlights pop the most. It's just too even, it's too pretty. Knock it down a little bit and make it a little bit uneven. Not perfect, it's perfect. So, all right, I'm gonna jump in, put some tunes on, and we'll get into the groove. Original shop signs, old gas and oil signs can be very costly. So to keep costs down, I call on my good friend Tomcat, a top autographic pin striper to help me out. And I can always count on Tomcat to bow things up. How does it look, guys? Smiley has been a true honor and to be able to work with a kid this young that's you know a race car driver already at heart this kid's sick he's awesome it was um, something different I haven't done I you know I work in people's homes all the time you know being a part of it was really special doing the diamond plate um, dado uh, stripe was awesome that was something I've never done before never done that but I, I nailed it pretty good I don't like to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at what I do. Mr. Smiley, he rocks, truly. Wow, that looks awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm so glad Smiley came in and did that for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, everyone. What do you think? Look, dude, yeah. look okay, cool. now, look at that diamond plate. At the start of this, you and me talked about making this a real race shot. Do you think we did a successful job? Better than, better. Better than successful. I love it. I love it. Look at those signs, Welcome Eric. to your brand new race shop. We took some of your great photos, put them up here. But look at this sign over here. Come here, check this out. We're going to try to get you your own race gas. What do you think? Yeah? Does that not look old? That is awesome. Is that awesome? So not only is it the guys of Hollywood that do this type of artwork, but there's guys like Tomcat out there that do it like the guys that do your race cars. So what we have really here is a combination of Hollywood and the motorsports world coming together to take care of you. Because Garrett Egan, in my eyes and in my heart, you're a champion. Thank you. All right, buddy. Have fun in awesome. your shop. Great job, guys. Thank you. Great job.
solve it. I'll do that. Thank you to the Egan family for allowing us to come in and fold things up. Tune in next week where we'll meet the Apollo family and we'll fold up their daycare center. For now, I'm Smiley Days. And remember, if you do things right, I could very well come into your home and fold things up. See ya. Thank you, bye. bye. On Just for the Full of It, one of our favorite products to use is Terry Lee's Movie Paint. Movie Paint is a transparent, washable paint. You can find out more about Terry Lee's Movie Paint at moviepaint.com.